Joss Duggar, where would Joss go to prison? Joss has to pay $50,100 in fines, which includes separate fines of $10,000, $100, $5,000, and $35,000. He has up until the month he's to be released to pay the fine. During the sentencing, Judge Timothy L. Brooks said the case was among the most serious. He also told Josh, You have done some very bad things. Josh, according to the son, has two options. He will be transferred to either a prison in Seagoville, Texas, or another in Texarkana, Arkansas. Josh should be sent to the Seagoville prison, according to the judge. Anna Duggar reportedly had no reaction to the sentencing. How did Josh Duggar's wife, Anna Duggar, respond to the sentencing? The Sun reporter on the scene said she didn't have much of a reaction. Additionally, Jim Bob Duggar also reportedly didn't react. When sentencing ended, Josh reportedly sent an I love you hand gesture in Anna's direction. He also shook his lawyer's hands and hugged them. Anna hasn't posted anything on social media so yet. She has remained silent since Josh's arrest. However, her letter to the judge prior to sentencing shows he still supports him. Anna mentioned the financial position in court record. Charles Duggar's sentencing is approaching, and fans of the Duggar family are waiting to see how Charles Duggar's wife, Anna Duggar, reacts to the news. New court filings just reveal a letter Anna made to the judge about George. The letter expresses Anna's feelings towards George as a husband and father. She also makes a passing reference to her and George's financial predicament. Anna Duggar, Charles Duggar's wife, has been silent about her financial situation in public. However, Duggar family fans continue to question how she and Josh support the seven children with Josh unable to work. Anna mentions Josh as a very key provider in the family in a letter to the judge, indicating that she relied on him to bring in a lot of family's money. My children and I rely on Joshua for financial, emotional, and physical support, Anna wrote. Anna also explained in the letter how Josh helped a family friend's widow financially despite not having much extra money. Joshua took it upon himself to financially support his widow, Denise, and the children they still have living at home. She wrote, For the past four years, Joshua has quietly and faithfully made significant financial contributions to meet their needs. This was not because we have excess income, but because Joshua has a compassionate heart. Does the Duggar family help Anna Duggar with money now? What will Anna Duggar do for a living? Is the Duggar family still financially supporting her? Is it unknown how involved the Duggars are with Anna right now? According to her source, Anna continues to lean on her family rather than Josh. However, the Duggars also claim that they intended to meet Anna's needs during this difficult time for her. Additionally, Anna has a number of LLCs in her name. She's reportedly used Cambridge Arbor LLC, Glasgow Drive LLC, Ravenglass North LLC, Ravenglass South LLC, and Solely Deal Gloria LLC to purchase real estate before. She apparently created another LLC in March 2022, and Reddit users suspect she may have put some of Joss' personal property in her name to protect it. A Reddit user noted, Interwine assets can be seized. So I suspect what has been going on is that Josh and Anna have been splitting their assets and putting a substantial amount into her LLCs.